This is a tutorial on how to do straight line code and write it up in the CNC base program. I'm going to just do a simple letter. You can see the letter N up there. And I'm just going to go through <clears throat> both the absolute and relative way of doing that. So each of those squares, each of these squares here is 0.25. So for my first one, I'm coming over 0.5 and up 0.5. So that would be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and then from there I'm going up to if I count it uh, there's six going up so that becomes 1.5 and I'm I'm sorry that's not right that's that's the whole thing my X didn't change at all it's zero my Y went up and so uh, it's going to be 1.5 my X stayed the same still 0.5 Thank you. 0.5, 1.5. Now, over here, I'm coming back down to this point on my N, and that's going to be 1.25 and 1.5. And then finally, I'm going straight up. I'm saying the same X, so 1.25, and uh, that was not 1.5. That was supposed to be 0.5. Thank you. Sorry. I'm doing this early in the morning and now it's 1.5 and if you trace her you can see what I did here 0 0.5 that's right 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 1.5 and 0.5 and then there okay relative hopefully this will go easier now the first point is going to be exactly the same 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 because I'm starting from here my next point I'm starting from here so from here I am making no change in the X so this become this is my zero and I'm going up four squares so I'm going to 1.0 okay 0, 0.0 and 1.0 now this is my zero point so I'm coming over three I'm coming over 0.75 and I'm coming down 1. So it's actually going to be a negative 1.0. And now uh, I am going to, this becomes my 0. And so my x stays at 0. And my y is going up 1. Okay, and so that's my relative coordinates. So that's how you do the relative coordinates. Each new point becomes my origin, my zero point. So I can actually move in the negative. And so you'll do the same thing with the ones that you come up with. Okay, so that's how you do that paper. Have all your coordinates for all the things that you have. And that's all you have to do. Make sure do them in the order that you would be uh, cutting it out. Now, if we go to the CNC base, I have kind of jumped ahead and I've put in these three lines of code because that's how you're going to start. You have your G90, actually you don't need the G80. We discovered, pretty sure. G90, then I'm doing, that's telling me I'm using absolute coordinates and then I have a tool change. I've got T04. Now if you to check your machine, check your program, you click on tools, set up library. There, may be tools set up here already there may not be but if you weren't like so let's say i was going to do see that zero one it's the one above it so if i was going to do t3 and i wanted to make it a ball mill because that's the rounded end one a we're either going to do that or we're going to do an end mill which is flat at the bottom but for cutting out letters we like ball mills and then uh, you would write a description like if I was going to do a one half inch like that and actually they've already got it set but if you didn't if this was a one eighth inch over here I would have to put 0 0.125 to tell it the diameter don't worry about this stuff don't worry about this stuff and then you would just say apply and you can see it's actually four. My my tool for is a one eighth inch ball. If you're using, if you want it really thin, like the robot I did, that's a one sixteenth. 
0 0.0625. And then you would have to make sure you had a tool. Uh, my, that's my tool six is my 1 16th ball. Doesn't matter what number it is right now, you can change it when you get to the machine. Okay, so that tells me that. Tool change, turn my spindle on at 2500. Now you may have to come up here and uh, if, it, if you can't type in, you may have to go to edit and unlock in order to put in new information. Sometimes that's the case. I'm just, I can hit enter. And so now I'm gonna go to my first point which was, I'm gonna go G00, whoops, G00, and then I'm gonna go in the X direction to 0 0.5, and in the Y direction to 0 0.5. No spaces, does not like spaces. And then I'm going to put in, oh, it doesn't, I don't need a, a speed because I'm going at high speeds. All right. Then I'm going to go to the Z to 0 0.5. That's going to go at high speeds. Then I'm going to do a G01, which slows it down. Whoops. Keeps going up. G01. And now I can tell it how fast I want it to go. I want to go in the Z direction to a, if I'm doing an eighth inch, a negative 0.0625, that would be a 1 16th of an inch, and I'm gonna go F10, that's going slow. Now, once I've done a G01, I don't have to repeat the G01 until I do something else. So now I can just go in the X direction to 0 0.5 Y, 1.5 and I can speed it up to F25 okay and uh, and I just keep going so I go X 1.25 Y 0 0.5 and X 1.25. I actually wouldn't have to put in the second X because I'm not changing it, but I, I would tell you to because it's a lot easier to keep track of what you're doing. 1.5. Uh, and then if I click this button right here to verify, I can see if I'm doing it right. Do that. Verify program. It says insert tool. I click go. Bingo. I've got an N. Now let's say I want to now go to the next letter. I can't just go to my next point. Now I have to do this, and I'm, I'm just telling you what to do, and you'll see what happens here. I would do a G00 in the Z direction up half an inch. That's going to raise it up. And then I'm going to go, uh, if I went, I'm just going to go over a little bit. So I'm going to go, it was 1.25, uh, 1.75, and Y same place, 1.5. That's going to put me over there. Then I got to go G01. This is what you have to do every time you move over, this whole little grouping of letters here. Now I got to go down in the Z. Oh, crap, what just happened? Thank you. Oh, there it is. Oop, thought I lost it all. Uh, now I'm going G01 in the Z to a negative 0 0.0625 F10 and now I'm back into it and let's just say I want to go straight down again then that would be a G01 oh, I don't need my G01 I can just say uh, X will stay at the same place 1.75 but we'll draw the line down to the 0 0.5. And so then when I verify, you'll see what it does. Missing numbers. Oh, you see that? What a great teaching. I did that on purpose. If you put a space in there, it won't do it. There we go. So you can see what it did. And you can actually, you can slow this down. Watch what happens when I do this. I can then verify and you'll be able to watch it a little slower. 
Watch. You'll see it eventually. There it is. Comes down. Now you'll be able to see when it does the lift up. It goes there, lifts up. That's my G00 in the Z. Then it moves over in the Z back down, and then it draws its line. So that's how you do it. I think I pretty much, ooh, that went pretty well. I think I pretty much covered everything that you need to do in order to fill that out on the paper. And also, too, you can follow along with this to get your code to get three, uh, three letters or some kind of a drawing, whatever you want to do. This is all straight line. I'll do another video later that will, uh, I'll do something with curves, do like the S with curves or something. And so there you go.